Alright, what we got here, we just got a guitar in the mail. And what's in this box is a Cordoba C7-CE. This is a cutaway C7 model made by Cordoba. It's a classical guitar. We're going to open this up and we're going to see exactly what kind of action is going on here. Now, the price that I was quoted on this without the case, the going price on this, was I believe six hundred and fifty bucks, six hundred and forty nine dollars. Uh, maybe six no, you know what I think it was six seventy nine. But anywhere it was between six fifty and six eighty. So I found this guy here uh, out in Olympia, Washington, but he had this model, the same exact model that I was looking for, that came with a case. It came with a case, it came with an extra set of strings, and it also came with a wall hanger guitar hanger deal. So as I open the box, I want to let everybody know out there, I am not a professional classical guitar player. Um, I'm just an improviser. It's just a little hobby that I have. So when we test play this guitar, we're not going to really get real fancy with it. And one of the reasons I bought a classical guitar versus a steel string guitar. First of all, I have a bunch of steel string guitars. But the main reason that I bought a classical guitar is because I got very big hands. Okay? Uh, the nut width on the classical guitar is a lot wider. The neck is a lot wider and with my big hands it's a lot easier to play. So that's one reason that the main reason actually why I went with classical guitar versus a standard steel string acoustic guitar. So as we pull it out, you can see the case that it came with. It's a very nice case. It's a, uh, I don't know, I guess the, this, they said he said this was the high end Cordoba case that Cordoba sells. Um, and I did have to pay extra. I paid $733 for this guitar, and that included free shipping. And then if we look at it, it actually looks really nice. Um, it's not the most high-end guitar case, but then on the other hand, I mean, it's not going to be in the case that much anyway. It'll be out being played. So I open it up, and voila, there's our guitar. It's got a beautiful finish on it. Um, this is the cedar top guitar. This is not the spruce pine. It's a beautiful, look at the back of this. The back has a beautiful finish to it. It's uh, very clean and very beautiful. It's got the gold tuners, nylon string. Let's go ahead and take it in the office and let's see how it plays. Very lightweight. I like the uh, weight of it. There's your action at well the 12th fret I would say. This is a two inch nut. This measures out at two inches. Um, it does have a slight bow on the back of it. I can see that and it also bows this way just a small smidgen and then flattens out. Here's our electronics right here and then of course that's where you would plug in your um, amplifier cord. So let's get inside the office, let's uh, sit down, and let's check this thing out. Okay, before we get started on the guitar, I just want to show you the amplifier that I will be testing it through and am basically using it as for demonstration purposes only. I do not have an acoustic amplifier, um, and the amplifier I got actually has an acoustic simulator built into it. Let's look at that amplifier to let you know what we're using. So the amplifier we're going to be using is a Roland Microcube. This is a uh, probably a 2002 model Microcube. It runs off batteries and you can see we got power and on the top of this amp there is actually a knob that gives you different variances and sounds and we're going to put it on the acoustic sound. Okay so here's our guitar and 
before we plug it in, and once again, I'm going to let you know, I am not a professional guitar player. I am an improviser. I do this as a, a hobby, and I just play. So we are not going to be doing fancy fandangoing and all this other stuff. This is just an unboxing and a presentation of uh, what my opinion is on this particular instrument. thing I got to get used to playing this it's been many many years since I played on a classical guitar with the big neck um, I'm used to playing this which is totally different <laughs> yeah you got the idea so it's gonna take me a little while we're gonna go ahead and plug this in and see what happens when we do that okay so we're gonna go ahead and plug the guitar in okay let's go ahead and Go ahead and turn that. Okay, we're going to go ahead and get everything adjusted. Now, once again, I am using the uh, Roland amplifier. down toward the 12th fret down. This would be our 12th fret right here down. Um, the action is a little high. I believe that um, it could have had some work done to the action on that. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I don't like the action. Um, I don't know if you can see when I do that, but that's very, the action on this is very high down here. $733. I'm going to go ahead and say no. No, it's not worth that kind of money. But the society that we live in in today's world, that's what you got to pay for the instrument. I think that this instrument is probably worth about $250, bucks, maybe $300 most. Um, I will say that this guitar is made in China. Let me turn my amp off and I will tell you the rest of my situation. The guitar is made in China once again. Um, and I will tell you from facts, and you can get on the site yourself, it's called Made in China. You can look that up or look at the description and look at the link in the description below. And it literally shows these guitars, these classical guitars 
that are made in China and you can buy them for $55 each. Well, I ended up going ahead and sending the guitar back to the place of purchase for a full refund. Um, I paid $740 for the guitar, the case, a spare set of strings, and there was supposed to be a guitar hanger in the box, which there wasn't. Basically like this one right here. So I can hang my guitar up, and I'm sorry to say there wasn't, it wasn't in there. Approximately 15 years ago, I had a Cordoba guitar. I had one. It was a C5. It was a beautiful guitar. It had Fisherman Electronics in it, Fisherman Electronics. It sounded awesome. It had excellent uh, intonation. It had, it had excellent, um, uh, what can we say, action. The tone was very sparkly all the way from fret number one down to the last fret. It didn't have dead tone to it. It didn't have, uh, it didn't sound like a, a, a Cracker Jacks box like it was uh, uh, made out of cardboard. That's exactly what this guitar sounded like. The electronics in it sucked. All right. Um... Let's see, what else was going on? Uh, I had to adjust my amplifier and the guitar several times to get the right tone. Um, when I was down to the ninth fret, I was trying to do a D chord at the ninth fret, and I mean, I couldn't even do it. The action was like that high, for one. And even when I had my fingers properly spaced out and I'm trying to do this chord, it, it sounded like a, a, a cardboard box didn't have no tone quality at all. Um, so I called up the place of purchase, which we won't mention their names in this video, and he said, send it back and I'll get you a full refund. Well, I had to pay for the shipping, which was $114. So, I'll go ahead and get a full refund less, okay, less my expenses on shipping. Now, I'm going to go ahead and tell you this, and you can believe what you want, but the Cordoba guitars of today are made in China. I'm going to show you examples of what these made in China guitars are, and then you can take it for what you want and think that Cordoba has its own specialty little a uh, factory that, you know, only employs 20, 10 or 20 people to specifically make their guitars in China, which is bullshit. Okay? They don't have their own factory out there. All right? This is my theory. It might be conspiracy, but this is me just thinking. I want to make that square. I don't know for a fact, but I'm pretty sure, okay, don't quote me on this, that... They're like every other company in America that buys Chinese products. They find a place that they like. They give them the plans of product that they want built. They build the product and sell it to them dirt fucking cheap. Well, I'm going to show you something, and I hope you're sitting down when I show you this. Here's a website called Made in China. I put in to search classical cutaway guitars. We're going to go ahead and look at a couple of these. I want you to take a good gander. Here is a classical guitar that we can purchase. You and me can purchase this guitar right here. And it comes with all this stuff. This is a classical guitar. For $28.90. Look what that says. Spruce Top Cutaway Electric Classical Guitar. You can buy this guitar for $28.98. I'm sorry, $28.90 to $39.60 per piece. It's a full guitar, full body guitar. It's a classic cutaway guitar, dyed hardwood. But you can buy that whole guitar with all that stuff for a phenomenal price of $28.90 to $39.60. Let's go down the line here. 
Here's another guitar, classical guitar, cutaway. Um, this one doesn't have, this is a 39 inch thin body. They're calling this the Travel Classic. $34.39 to $72, but minimum order is two pieces. Let's go down the line. Uh, here's another one made out of uh, basswood, blah, blah, blah. You got to buy 90 pieces minimum order at $21.50. Here's another one. There's another one. You kind of get the picture here. Uh, here's an OEM original equipment manufacturer. That's what that means. 39 inch cutaway nylon string basswood guitar for $21.50 if you buy 90 pieces. Now here's one that I found that literally almost identically down to the T almost looks exactly like the Cordoba guitar. All right, this is a solid spruce sapali. It has rosewood. It's a mahogany neck, gloss finish, electron. Look at here, it's got a EQ pickup installed as request. That means if you want the pickup installed, they will do that. $75.80 to $85 minimum, six pieces. That almost looks identically to the guitar that I purchased. I, I, I'm, t I'm telling you, almost identical. There's another one down here. This one doesn't have a price on it, but it's got a four-band equalizer, electronics installed, uh, spruce plywood, rosewood plywood, rosewood, 39-inch, minimum order 60. So you get the idea here, okay, people? When it says made in China... Listen to me. Listen. Okay, listen close. It is fucking made in China at a sweat factory that makes dozens and dozens of these a day. Look at all those guitars behind that one. Look at these. This is your made in China. Okay, here, look at this. $75 to $85 if I want to buy those. Six of them. All right, made in China, people. This is it. Cordoba will does not make the C7, C5, and some other models. Okay, they don't make. This is where they make get them made right here. I don't know which one of these factories does it for them, but I mean you can see them. Look at all of them. Here's one, uh, 39 inch cutaway electric guitar, four band equalizer installed, spruce plywood, rosewood, classic guitar, vintage series. 39 inch minimum order 100 pieces look at that that almost looks exactly like the C here's another one $32 six pieces okay look at all the pages of classical guitars look at them okay do you see what I typed in there do you see that I'm going to show you this look at these guitars look at them look at them OEM OEM Alder, all right, purple and white guitar, different colors, $36, $36. Get on eBay, look up these guitars or fake fenders, Chinese-made fenders, and you will see where they literally put the name Fender on these guitars. They literally put them on these guitars. They put serial numbers on them. They put everything on them, everything. Made in the USA, the whole nine yards. All right, so um, I'm sorry that we had to use the Cordoba C7CE as an example. Um, like I said, 15, 18 years ago, I had a Cordoba C5. It was a beautiful guitar. That's why I wanted to get a Cordoba. So when you see a guitar and they're advertising that, oh, my God, we've been in business 100 years. This is an original company. When this says made in China, it is made in China. They don't have their own factory in China. All right, once again, conspiracy theory. This is just me thinking. They have a company or a corporation. They're uh, um, contracting them out to build them at one of these sweatshops in China. Did I, did I mention how much they were? That you can actually buy these. Did I mention how much these large... Uh, High-end name brand companies are paying for these guitars in China. Did I tell you that? I, I don't know if I showed you that or not. 
I think I did. Okay, I think, oh wow, look at this. $38 to $52, one piece. Look how beautiful that guitar is. I'd love to have that guitar, love it. Electronics, look at the, those electronics almost look like the ones on that Cordoba, almost. Do you see the profit margin that these people are making off this made in China crap? I paid $733. I guarantee you the case was probably made in China too. But let me go ahead and explain this. When I bought the guitar, the guy said, high end, high quality Cordoba case. It was the cheapest piece of shit I ever had. The thing didn't even weigh two ounces. It was this thick. Okay? It was junk. Junk. Total junk. You saw it. They're paying... Uh, fifth, anywhere from twenty dollars to a hundred bucks for one of these guitars, and they're selling these motherfuckers for seven hundred dollars. I guarantee you, the Fishman Electronics that are in these are probably made in China. Probably. I think I've said enough. Okay, I think I've said enough, and I think that maybe, possibly, the few views that I get on my videos on this channel will understand that I do not fucking lie, and this is the total honest truth. Thank you for watching, and good luck with your made-in-China fucking guitar.